it's it like yeah. you know everything you've been taught with money has always been like fairly like risk averse like okay save up go to school get, drive, a, job. get a mortgage yeah. get a job side hustles entrepreneurship no it's a stable job you want to go in and work that 40 years Pension. right yeah exactly Pensions. like the, the, what do they call it? the four the, the 440s 40, 440 work for 40 years get 40 percent of your retirement uh save up for your 401k yeah. and i forget what the fourth one was right but so all these things, four kids, I don't fucking know. <laughs> right? And, and, and this, this is how a lot of Americans live. This is how our parents were raised. This is how your grandparents were raised. But like to, in today's day and age, you know, you, you'll be able to get into your Social Security. There's not going to be no Social Security by the time we're old enough. Yeah. You know, it's going to be gone. So you can't really rely on the government to, to save you like they were able to do back in 20, 30 years ago, man. It's that, that yeah. was the old that was the old game back yeah. in the day and stuff like that. Because, I mean, that, that advice was really good advice back in the day. The, re, the reason there is such a thing about saving money in the bank is because the interest rates in the 70s were really mm. high and you could get 11% in the yes, bank. Yes, true. You could in get the a, 80s. Yeah, in the 80s too as well. And, and then it wasn't until Alan Greenspan then he slowly started like dropping it from there from the 90s and stuff. But mortgage rates were damn near, for all you guys that like, oh my God, the mortgage rates are so high. In the 80s, guys, it was damn near 20%. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, it, it, like in the seventies, inflation was crazy. So like that, you were able to like benefit from having your money in the bank. But nowadays, it's like nah. Yeah, I mean they they took us off the gold standard, and then um, everything started rocketing up. Inflation started going crazy. Then the Federal Reserve just just jacked it. I mean they just in one in one raise. They I mean they they turbo nuked the rates up. I'm talking about like over ten percent in one move. Mm. And then that was just to calm the inflation down. And then that sent us into a recession. And then after that. Greenspan took over of the Fed and then he started lowering the rates and then the, it's called the Greenspan put and that put us into a pretty much a into a bull run from the 80s 90s early 2000s until it ended right there in 2006 with the housing boom yeah. right so that's literally what happened it was like early 80s kind of like oh, we're coming out of the 70s and then boom we just they start printing money and then they start at that time not that much but it was a lot it was like you print a few billion that's actually a lot yeah. back then yeah but but now you know they print billion, a billion dollars and they're like what'd you do it's nothing it's yeah. nothing anymore it's nothing yeah it's um, paper. yeah so uh I, so guys today's episode man we're gonna be doing straight q a okay Shit. um this is your opportunity guys to ask